You know, sometimes you meet people at the right time, you're on the same wavelength mentally, you're both looking for the same thing. We just kind of saw, uh, saw or had shared an equal passion. So tell us, the, the movie is based on the book Great Expectations. Mm. Both of you have read the book? Adi has not read the book. Not Adi read was bunking school, not attending yeah, the yeah, literature I was just lazy, I classes. Said. No, honestly, it's not. I didn't want to read it. Because I feel like whatever Gattu's done, he's taken the book and he's made it his own. He's adapted it in his own way. And he's changed a few things that he felt may maybe needed changing. So I felt like if I read the book and... Um, You'll have a... I would confuse myself. Right? When I'm reading the script, I'm like, it's in the book, it's not in the script. Uh, as an actor, I think your script is your Bible. It is what you have to get all your clues and everything from. So I didn't want to confuse myself. Katrina, what about you? Did you read it? I've read the book. I've seen all of the film adaptations that have been made. I think my, my favorite one was is is definitely the Gwyneth Paltrow and um, Achha, that's your favorite. Ethan Hawke. Yeah. Most people sure. like the one made in the 50s which people said was the best. But mm. you didn't watch that one? Black and white didn't like? No. Actually, that's, I didn't know about that one. Okay. I so you have watched the adaptations? I've watched the Gwyneth Paltrow one, okay, uh, but Ethan not Hawk. after I got offered the film. This is before. It's nice. I mean, they're, they're all good in their own way, but um, Fitur is a very different film. You know, uh, it, it's it's not. Um, Abhishek has not directly lifted it from from the book. He's not or tried to you know remake a movie. He, he's not done that. I think he's just used the the characters, the personality traits, and the situation of the characters, and um, really. Uh, come up with his own story, come up with a new story. And it's, I think that's why he, he says it really was an inspiration for him more than anything. It's not a literal adaptation, I think. But I'm sure you're very excited about the movie. And if I'm not wrong, you went to Gattu to say that, you know, I want to do this movie. It's not really like that. I mean, what happens is you meet at a place or at a gathering and you've read in the papers that, you know, Abhishek is making this film. And we had a conversation about it, you know, at right. a, someone's house party or something. We had a discussion and I think just instantly we, we kind of, we hit it off. Instantly we, we just kind of were on the same, same page. maybe just the right place in life. You know, sometimes you meet people at the right time, you're on the same wavelength mentally, you're both looking for the same thing. And it was just kind of like an instant, uh, you know, coming together of, of two people who was, we just kind of saw, uh, saw or had shared an equal passion for, for the film. Mm. So she was in it, but you came in much later. I came so in. So Shant was doing it, Correct. and then you came in. Yeah. So how was that process? You know, I I've been telling the story the past few days that you know uh, when I first read about the film being made where Abhishek was making with Katrina and Sushant a remake of Great Expectations I really felt I don't often feel this when I read about other people's films but this one when I read it just sounded so like such a lovely project and because I had liked Abhishek's film pri uh, previously I felt like you know I would love to do this film. Yeah. I just love to do this film. But I said, okay, you know, it's not in my destiny. And somehow, whatever happened, and a year and a half later, I was in the film. I got a call and I, I felt like it was destiny in a way. So it's a dream come true. Uh, it wasn't a dream, it was more <laughs> like a daydream. A daydream. <laughs> yeah. Katrina, uh, the <clears throat> movie is, the promo is very good. The trailer is very good. It seems that it's your most difficult role. Was it? No. I don't think I can say that. I had many roles which were challenging for me for different reasons. So the reasons that um, Firdaus's character is challenging for me in Fitur is for different reasons than say for example the character I played in Rajniti. In Rajniti the, it was you know the kind of uh, the kind of uh, changes. Yeah, the kind of changes uh, once she becomes a politician, the kind of uh, the kind of speeches that you are required to give, you know, standing in front of 5,000 extras because that's how Prakash Ji shoots. You know, those challenges are different. Here, mm. I, I, here it was just a really exciting journey is the way <coughs> I see it. Just to, to be with a director like Abhishek who gives you so much freedom, he allows for so much discussion. I think both me and Adi were there really just to try and give our best to the film. And, and well, it's one of those films where you come and put yourself in the hands of the director. But I think you found that tougher because you were new. You've grown as an actress. Would you say that? I hope so. I think I think every day, uh, every year, every month, every week, you, you're trying to grow and better yourself. Uh, you also learn with experience. So I think a lot of people have come in as untrained actors. And there are very few people who have come in with formal training. So as most people, 
I came in without that formal training. So now today when I stand on a film set, I personally enjoy it much more. Today the enjoyment or fulfillment I get out of my work is very, very different from before. Before it was more about you, okay, I'm here, you know, you need to be here, you're, you're learning, you're trying to figure things out. But today when, when I stand, I'm playing with the, you know, you're playing with the character, you're, you're, the you're involvement enjoying. Is more See, my involvement was always huge, but today when you're involved, you, you can involve yourself on the level of the character. You can, yeah, you know, because, you, you, uh, you, you, you know, have because we saw you when you were uh, shooting yeah. with Bosco and, you know, if he was satisfied with the shot, but you were not. You said, no, take one shot. Which one, which one? When you were shooting a song. When now? Yeah, recently. For Pashmina? Yes. Yes. And you said, no, I'm not satisfied. I want another shot. I want another shot. There was a shot where you're coming down the stairs, I remember. Yeah. And you said, no, let's reshoot this because, you know, I want it reshot again. No, no, no. no, no as like, those are two different staircases in two different yeah, situations. Yeah, I, I think you're very confused. <laughs> nothing like that. She yeah. has come down the stairs twice, but in different mm. sets, in yeah, different times. No, and nothing like that. Okay. And I, I, saw, I thought you were talking about Pashmina. Hmm. There's no V shoot in the film. I thought you were talking about Yeah, so the involvement is higher. I think in the start of your career, like yeah. even like when, when I first did my first film, I was really un, uh, like, as, like she said, untrained. <laughs> You're worried about just saying your dialogue, right? That was yes. where I started. I used to yeah, just learn yeah, my dialogue yeah. and I used to you say my dialogue. And I used to be like, oh yeah, you know, no, no, I've done my part. Yeah. And that is not acting, right? That's not acting. And uh, as you learn and as you grow and as you experience more in film, you learn to relax more. And I think when you're relaxed, you're able to really perform and like she said, play with other actors and react rather than be so nervous. Tense. I see the involvement, but you were with a director who also wants to have his way. He's a tough director on the set. That too. He has a temper. How did it go? No. I don't think he does. He doesn't have a temper. Actually, he doesn't have no. a temper. He's. I was by the end of the film. I was kind of like. Uh, I was very smitten by him. We were like hmm? uh, bonding, and you know, we. Uh, for for me, it was it was exactly as I wanted it to be. The sometimes you go through a process mm -hmm. where you don't deeply connect with the director, or you don't really understand. But in, in this film, I find it very inspiring to talk to Abhishek as a person. And if you are inspired by the person, your your work is gonna be uh, is gonna be seamless. Yeah. In fact, I think every there wasn't one day on the set where we didn't all kind of you know even no, Adi always, not to leave him out. We were always kind of you know talking, discussing. He doesn't feel <laughs> that he's superior, or he doesn't feel that it's my way or the highway. He's always like, okay, show it to me. Um, yeah, in mm, fact, he's one of the most. Okay, let's try that, and then if it's good. He doesn't even care that, oh no, this wasn't my idea, whose yeah, idea, I didn't no. care. It's like, it's not even part of the discussion. It's like, okay, let's, let's go this way. He's in fact one of the most open directors I've also worked with because he just, um, and as an actor, then you feel more responsibility because you feel like what you're going to say and what you're going to offer up might exactly. just be accepted. Might be used, yeah. So, okay, take You know, he's like, whatever you show him, if you show him a new idea, he'll just be like that. You better be on the ball whenever you're doing something. But he's one of the most, which is very shocking for me, which I've actually started realizing much towards the end of the film. I think he's one of the most well-spoken people that I know. Hmm. When you interact he's with well him read. casually, you don't realize that because he's chilling and he's got a, that, a casual vibe. And hmm. I didn't actually realize it till after. And then I was like, the trailer launch, I think you realized. Ah, tra trailer launch for Delhi may hmm. I was like, whoa, okay, that's quite a well-spoken person. Very well. He's very, very well, well read. Spoken. Yeah. You see his uh, house, there's a room, you, you know, that. full of books. <laughs> that, that was interesting. Yeah. So how did it go for you with uh, Abhishek? The same. Uh, oh, they like were fighting every day, man. Yeah. You All were, the time, fighting yeah. in corners. <laughs> uh, they, they hated each other. It was terrible. <laughs> okay. Shooting with Tabu, were you nervous? You we had nervous, most scenes with her. We have, we have the same amount of scenes, no? I think. I think I have I mean, a couple. I have a few. Yeah. We, have, we both have, yeah. We both we how both was had, it? How was it? We both had very important scenes with her, put it that way. How was it? So were so you nervous you were shooting with a very senior artist who was no. somebody who was so good? I was curious. I, I, I remember the, what, the first scene we shot together. I, 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 for the first time, for the first part of the you know, first few rehearsals or whatever, I was just looking at what she was doing. Okay. Also because we hadn't had a chance to rehearse together because Interact. she had come into the film a little later and all that. So I was just curious. Acha, how was, how was Tabu going to do this? Because she's such a great actress and she's known for being such a great actress. You mm. want to see, you know, with an actor who has such a, you know, a tag like that, a reputation like that, what is their take on it? And so I was just observing. I was just really more than anything observing. And then in between the shots, 
we just really connected as people. We just spoke wow. a lot. A that lot. made it easier. Just, I, I just was talking to her, just wanting to know. I think yeah. she must have, she must have felt a little weird at first because I was just asking her so many questions. Maybe so we were doing an interview. What sometimes. happened in eight years ago? <laughs> what kind of films? What was the industry like then? Oh, what, what happened when you used to work? You know, like I was just asking her so many questions, but she was yeah. very sweet. Uh, for, I could sense her observing me in a sense, not to see. In a, by, by observing, I mean like she making sure you were doing could, the right thing. No, like she could see where I am at. Uh, in as an actor, like my process, she was just observing how, acha, you know, like if I'm struggling with something, and she's probably gone through that, and she's evolved, and she's become this great actress. But she could see um, me struggling with a few things, and I could know that okay, she's observing like my process. Did you find it a little tough because you had shot a day or two with Rekha also the same, the transition? Yes. Yeah, it was quite a weird. It was. It was. It was. It was, uh, it was a. Uh, a, a, a a difficult uh, transition, yeah, it mm -hmm. was. Because we had all been married to the idea of that for so long. It wasn't like uh, we were, ca everyone was cast two months ago, I'll be, you know, we've gone on the floors. It was, it was a long time. It was a long time the idea was there, the film got announced. We started shooting about, what, a year, uh, yeah. nine months after <coughs> that we all So we lived with that idea for a while. The idea for long now that I look back at it, the way I see it is, at least we always carry those two, the, the memory of those two days. With, with, with the shoes, yeah. you know, it was... They're lovely days, yeah. Yeah. those two, three lovely days. It was, it was How important is this film to you, to both of you? It's... You, first. As you have had several hits. For yeah. me, it's important for different reasons. Every film is important for you. You want every film to do well. And uh, that's uh, the, the same goes for this one. We worked really hard on it, yeah. It's been a year, year and a half that hmm. we've been working on this film. We've given our heart and soul to it. We've all felt very, very good about it. Felt like a team, felt like we are part of something of some worth. And uh, so I wanted to do very well and as far as how important it is for me in terms of the context of my career, I don't want to think about that too much. Though that is another topic for discussion where, you know, my last film might have not done that well and yeah. so on and so forth. So even for that reason, I wanted to do well. But I'm just really excited. I'm really happy with what we've done. Karina, you have almost stopped signing films in the last one year. We haven't seen you, you know, signing new films. You have Fitur, you have a couple uh, Bar Bar Dekho and... Uh, so, what's the reason fans want to know? No, no reason uh, like that. I don't, I don't see that I've stopped signing films at all. Firstly, I think in, in your life, uh, in your career, which spans many years, there are certain phases where you're working more than others, maybe due to personal reasons or, you know, your, your attention is kind of in different as on different aspects of your life. So, that does have a bearing on your decisions for sure. Um, but. Right now, the films that I'm doing, um, one is of course Fitur, which is on release, Jaga Jasus and Barba Deko. I'm working every day, so That's it's, right. you know, you don't, right now my hands are full. And also the, the involvement that I have with my films now, is, as we were speaking about, is on a little bit of a different level. So maybe, maybe before where you would kind of run from this film to another, my involvement is more, you know, I want to spend time, like on Barba Deko we do workshops. We've been doing a lot of workshops, you know, like maybe 10, 15 days of workshops. So mm. it's you, you, it's taking more of your time. So is but it I going to be here after off. the same? Like you'll be choosy, you'll be selective, you'll be very conscious of what you're going to do? See, I've, I've always been very conscious of what I'm doing and I, I'll always No, you always said no, pehle aisa hota hai ki ye picture bhi karni hai, wo bhi karni hai, mm. but now... I'm, s I'm confused at what you're saying. <laughs> no, I'm saying... <laughs> I don't know what you're saying. Are <laughs> you going to take it slow and steady or...? Are you going to take it slow and steady or...? No, I think... It, it just depends on the script. If you get a good script that comes to you, then I think and it excites you, you go for it. If five good scripts come to you at once, obviously you can't do all five, yeah. but maybe you'll take two. If one good film comes and you're like, okay, this is it, I'm just focusing on this now, then you do that. Like, so it, it depends. Like it depends you said, nowadays different films need different things. If you know, sometimes yeah. your rehearsal process and your leading process is really long. Sometimes you have shooting schedule. You might do a film which take and uh, that takes 200 days, yeah. Yeah. You have to go to the desert. And yeah, I want to do a film with takes it's a Mad Max type. Yeah, it's still on a film. So Fitur is about love and heartbreak. Hmm. Where are you both in that state of life? <sighs> in the film? No. <laughs> Personally. Love and heartbreak. Um, where am I? As in, if I find love, I will be happy. I'm not in love with anyone or anything. So you're single and Yeah, free. yeah, yeah, absolutely. I've been single for a while. Katrina, what about you? What about me? Which state are you in? I am, I have learned that whatsoever state I am in, 
to be content. <laughs> that's a, that, that's a uh, Bible content. quote or something. No, I'm, it's, I'm, a, it's a old I, I it's respect that. Thing. I respect that, but really fans want to know whether you're single or whether you're not single. And I, I love that, that people want to know. You know, because I feel that people only want to know about you when they care about Correct. you. Correct. So they, I want they to do be relevant care. to the my audience. The nation cares about you. Yeah, them. absolutely. And I hope and I pray that they can always care about me and they always, they always are connected to me in that way. But I think the people who really care about me in the same way, they also would have seen me in the last, what, 10, ten however many years I've been around. And they know that I don't speak about my You've personal life. You've never spoken life. about it, no? No. It's just, no it's, just, it's just my way. I mean, I'm a, I'm a Cancerian. At times, I've said certain things because I felt it. You know, for whatever reason, at times I've, you know, been seen in certain places. But for the most part, you know, I think the people, if they love me, they'll continue to love me and respect me. Okay, so can we ask you about your forthcoming projects? We just discussed them, but I don't mind. Oh, something on again. record. Something yeah. on record. I, I can say it again. Really stay. Uh, um, Barbara Deco is on September 9th. Please check it. Though, I could be wrong. Yeah, please and, check uh, the. She doesn't and, know. And uh, Jaga Jasus is yeah. really seen. The Re release date is not yet confirmed, as far as I know. Achha. Yeah, so I'm doing a film next with uh, Shraddha. It's a remake of OK Kanmani, which is a film that Mani Ratnam uh, directed. And Shad is directing the film. So that's what I'm doing after this. Katrina, just one last question. And that is, we see you with more with younger heroes now. I mean, you were doing films with Akshay Salman and, you know, more of in the earlier part of your career. We see you now with more younger heroes. Is there any particular modus operandi? Is it a conscious decision? No, not at all. But also, uh, logic comes into it, right? Like me and Akshay have done, if I'm not mistaken, five films together. Yes. So, five films ke baad means he's also going to have to. Your, you don't want your uh, your what do you call it? Your jodi. Get your jodi to get repetitive or stale in that in that in that place. Like I actually met Akshay a little while ago at I think it was a Diwali party, and I said that you know we would have a, a nice film, you know, like maybe a sequel to Singers King yeah. or something, you know. For me, honestly, I don't, I can't predict the audience, but to me, that would be exciting. And I would love to do another really good film with Akshay. Mm -hmm. um, the same case is with, uh, is with uh, Salman also. We've done multiple films together. You don't want things to be repetitive. With Shah Rukh, sir, I'd love to do another film with him. I mean, the experience of working with him in Jab Tak Jaan was just uh, yeah. beautiful. I mean, he's, he, he cares about your shot. He as makes much you feel as his important. own, yeah, like it's, it's a beautiful <laughs> thing to see. But let's also not be over presumptuous to say that like I'm selecting Shah Rukh Khan films. Like you have to also get the offer. offer but yeah. I, would, I would love <coughs> to do another film with Shah Rukh. I, I would love to do another film with Amir. Really, it didn't have that much together in Dhoom 3, but whatever we had in Dhoom 3. Good experience, he's, huh? He's so inspiring because the, he just, he's, he's right there, you know, you just, you see that focus. Very focused. He, and nothing else, huh? No phone, he's not chit-chatting on the side. Nothing. When he's on the set, he's like, yeah, it's, it's, it was amazing. And I, I made the mistake once of um, challenging him to a race. So in Dhoom 3, we were both in our oh. peak level of fitness, okay? We were shooting in Chicago for the song, um, for the romantic song. And I thought, uh, you know. Well, I just thought a few things. Let's just say what I thought. <laughs> I thought, yeah, character. I'm going to run easily. And I was like, he's like, and he, Amir is very fair, huh? So he's like, are you sure, Katrina? Do you mm. want to race with me? Mm. I was like, yeah, come, come on, man. The, you know, nice Chicago road. Let's run down the park. Yeah. So the moral of the story is do not ever make the mistake of thinking that you are faster than Amir Khan. Well, he's really fast. He runs crazy. He's <laughs> the <laughs> fastest runner. He, on the we didn't know that. No, he runs at the speed of some, I think, 17 or 18 on the treadmill. What? I swear to God. That's ask crazy. Ask him when you see him. It's crazy. So you yeah. lost very badly. Oh, yeah, needless to it say. It wasn't a competition. The competition didn't start. Anyway. So we want to see you in many more films. Inshallah, God willing, yes. I will be And the same for you, Aditya. And I wish you again. all the best for Fitur. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you so, so much, much for being on Spot Boy. Thank you so Thank much. You.